Today in Newport News, City Council will vote on next year's budget. The school district is asking for more money, but they're concerned that City Council won't come through. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin is in the newsroom to let us know what school leaders are asking for. Well, you guys, next year's city budget in Newport News is turning into a very passionate disagreement between the city and the school board. So tonight, the Newport News, uh, excuse me, city council members are expected to vote on the city manager's proposed budget. Now, the superintendent for Newport News Public School District wants a three and a half percent increase in the district budget. That's more than three hundred million dollars. He wants to go towards teacher pay raises and aging school buildings. But the city manager is proposing no no increase for the district. Instead, there's a proposed 2% increase in the city's budget. The president of the Newport News Education Foundation Board says this is unacceptable. It's been an uphill battle. We were disappointed last year and we were relatively silent. This year we're less silent. Uh, interview we reached out to the city's mayor as well as the city manager both were unavailable for a comment at that time the newport news city council meeting starts at 7 p.m in the city council chambers also norfolk is expected to vote on their proposed city budget as well and dan you have a breakdown of that for us yeah megan some of the big ticket items for norfolk include nearly 126 million dollars in local funds to public schools and that's a three million dollar increase the budget also includes a 2% raise for city employees and money to help bring sheriff's deputy salaries in line with police officer salaries. The city is also planning on investing $70 million over the next four years near Scope and Chrysler Hall. That includes $30 million to revamp Scope Plaza. They're also setting aside $83 million over the next four years for the St. Paul's revitalization project. The city plans to relocate thousands of people from Tidewater Gardens, Young Terrace and Calvert Square as part of that project, Ashley.